Hello and welcome to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be looking at fixing any grub issues with the OS Prober to show how many systems we actually have installed uh, via the grub menu. Anyway, before we proceed any further into the video, I'd like to thank my channel member Mislav. They get early access to videos such as this one right here, as well as the badge next to the name on comments on live stream and their comments get sent to my phone first. So why not join them? Anyway. Let's get into the video. <clears throat> so, whenever you boot your Linux system, it will show you the grub screen, and it will usually ask you one of three things. It'll ask you if you want to boot into the system of your choice. In my case, we have here uh, Debian. In my case, it asks me if I want to boot this, and the answer is yes. We get a, we get the operating system. We get the advanced options and the boot to motherboard or go to the BIOS. Those are the three options that I get. But I have decided I want more than that. I want it to see my Windows disk as well. So we're going to tell this how to do that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to move that to there. Clear our screen. So clear screen. First things first, we need to see if we have the Grub OS Prober. Now, you may or may not have it. If you do or don't, we'll go through the process and fix it as and when needed. So, first things first, we need to do sudo os os prober and then feed it your password. Now, the sudo will depend on whether you are using a system that uses sudo or system that uses do as or anything else to elevate your permission. If it's a open BSD system, it'll be do as, but for sudo, well, for Linux system, well, for in particular my Debian system, it is sudo. And as we can see here, we have two outputs. Well, we have another output. We have our uh, Windows drive. In this case, as we can see here, dev nvme one n one p two at Microsoft. So we've got our Windows drive showing up as well which is what we want. Now we need to see if our OS Prober is enabled. Now to do that, we can either go into the file directly or we can give it, we can feed a command to extract the particular line to see if it's there. So the command we want to feed is sudo cat slash etc slash default slash grub grub Give it a pipe, and this is just to say what it, what we're looking for. So pipe grep grub underscore disable underscore os underscore prober. So as we can see here, we didn't get an output, which means the os prober is it is it may or may not be there because I've spelt it wrong. Disable os prober. So. What we can see here is the OS Prober is set to false. So we now have an answer for what's going on. So here's what we need to do. If the output is true, which in this case is not, the OS Prober is disabled. But the OS Prober is not disabled. However, it does have a hash in front of it, which means that line is being ignored. So we need to change that. So. What we need to do is use our text editor of choice to go into the file. Now, I will be using Vim because I like Vim. I also use Nano as well. I like Nano. So what we want to do, we need to do this as, as a super user. So in my case, sudo, depending on your system, it might be different. So sudo uh, vim slash etc slash default slash grub. And as we can see here, we have our output. So what we are looking for is we are looking for the OS Prober. So as we can see here, uh, our OS Prober file is disabled by default. So what we want to do is we want to change that to get rid of that hash and that will then allow the line to run. So in this case, as we can see here, it, uh, grub, dis uh, grub disable OS Prober equals false, which means the OS Prober will be allowed to run from the get go. And we can actually run it now. So, once we've done that, we just want to 
uh, right quit the file. And the reason why I do it with an exclamation mark is because it forces it to do it. And then we are now saved. So if we just uh, cat uh, etc slash default slash grub, as we can see here, just to double check, OS Prober equals false. So we're good. We've got what we wanted. That's good. We now need to update our grub configuration. Now, this will depend on what system you have and how it's dealt with. If it's a system that isn't, for example, um, OpenBSD or Fedora or anything like that, it will be different, but for, in this case, it is just the following. Well, for me, it will be different with your own system. I would recommend checking the configuration options. But in this case, it's just as simple as sudo update prop. And as we can see here, what we're going through is warning OS probe will be executed to detect other bootable partitions. Its output will be used to detect bootable binaries and create new boot entities found windows and good. So what this is now done is we now we now have our Linux file or our Linux operating system and our image for the Linux as well as the Windows one. So we have both of our operating systems that are now available for booting. So what we will do is it is recommended at this point you do reboot. So I will reboot and I will take a picture of the proof to show it's working and then show it up on screen right now. Okay, now that we're back and you can see that the Windows uh, operating system has been detected. It's really as simple as that. It's straight off from the get go. It appears there's no worries. Uh, Any time that Windows does update, you may have to run the, the OS Prober again. As you can see there, it's as quick and easy as sudo os, well, sudo grub update, update grub even. Easy as that, there's no hassle at all. Uh, so this will also depend on, again, your operating system and if you're using grub or not. But it works, it's good. Uh, I also, I've also created a text guide for this video, which I have uploaded to GitHub, and I will leave a link to that in the description. Just so, in case you decide you want to refer to it in text form, you've got it in text form. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. They both seem to work, even though you can only see one of them. And if you're watching this before the video goes live, thank you very much. Anyway, whenever you use Linux, do not panic. I have been Nick, you have been amazing, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.